How's it going, everybody? Midnight Silver Run. And as you can see, we have a bunch of nickels that are begging to be put in their home. <clears throat> now, as you see here, I have a semi-complete Jefferson Nickel album. And I got some more nickels, if you've seen in my last video. And uh, we need to uh, we need to put them in their home. So we'll get a gander at each one, as always, before we put it in there. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but. A little bit of toning. Start with the 38. Most of these I should just pop out of here, I think. We're just going to go ahead and fill them, do upgrades or whatever as we go. None of these are BU coins, I can tell you that much. So we'll pull out the 38D. I don't know if we'll do the whole book tonight or what, but we'll see. Nice looking nickel. Very nice. We'll get as far as we can go, I suppose. Or as go page by page, see how long it takes. Thirty eight S. There'll be some really nice nickels going in here. That one's kind of tight. It fits. Semi in order, or kind of in order. Fumbling around here. I'll, uh, I guess I'll put the other ones back in these flips. Got a little mark on the head, but it's better than what was in there, trust me. A little toning on the reverse that you really can't tell. Can't really see it on obverse either, but. That's there, you can kind of see it at that angle. Okay, so let's go for 40. Can't wait to put these uh, war nickels in here. Another nice looking nickel. Now 
Not every year in here. Cordy Watt. Actually, if I'm correct, this might be the first page, I believe. Definitely a nice hole filler. I'll look, I'll look nice in the book. I don't know. You guys call it a book? Do you call it an album? I call it both, I guess. Don't don't really know why. Forty two. Is there any more? Okay, so we can put that one on now. Very nice. Pop these out. No, don't slide out of there. Don't do it. There we go. Again, these are not, uh, these were just. Most of these nickels I found um, were ones that my grandma had saved. So <clears throat> instead of, uh, you know, just letting them sit in a little container they were in, I figured I would put them in here until, you know, I had upgrades for them. Nice 42S. I don't know what that is. It's a war nickel. We got the 42P. These war nickels are beautiful, guys. I've honestly never seen, I've never, never been in possession of any of this nice. Look at that. Got a few little wear marks, but Definitely not going to complain about that. Look how beautiful that is, guys. By far the best war nickels I've ever had. Okay, 42, so now we need 43. We got 43P. It's going to be a big step. And, uh, oh man, look at this one. Look at those guys. That's amazing. Look at the luster. Such a beautiful coin. That silver really makes them pop. Of course, there might just be so little bit of silver, it really doesn't, but <clears throat> I'm going to say the silver really makes them pop. It's got to be enough in there to be able to tell a little bit, right? I think it's like, what, 35% or something like that? Nice 43D, uh, I believe. Yeah, 43D. New home and a Jefferson album. We got the forty three S. Another beautiful coin. Can't be mad at that. Look at that, guys. I don't know why, but I really like the war nickels. Something about the the mint mark being 
right above the Monticello building instead on the side or in some little spot uh, below the date. I just, I really like it. Okay, so we got 1944P. And I know it's not really, other than that, it's not anything that's different about, about it, but I don't know. Something about the mint mark being where it is is just a little more appealing to me. Look at that. Makes a more, uh, makes them more noticeable. Like when you flip these over, not even be able to see the years, you instantly know which ones are a war nickel just look from looking at the reverse. 45 D. Oh, I skipped the I skipped the forty four S. Oh, and the forty four D, that's what I thought I was looking for. Had me confused there. Had myself confused. Look at that. Bet you these would grade fairly high too. I mean they're they're beautiful. Somewhere in the sixties, I don't I don't know what, you know. Forty four D. This one's just as nice. For S. Oh, forty five P. Another beauty. Guys, right, tell me what you think of these war nickels in the comments. They're just so beautiful. They really, they really stand out in the book. And of course we did the 45D already. So let's put this 45S in there. Actually, let's pull this one out first. put the 45s in. It's kind of hard to put one in there when there's already a coin in there, huh? Another beautiful coin. Forty five S. And then we're not done yet, guys. No, 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 no. No, we're not. You'll see on this page, you know there's a key date up here. Everyone's always looking for it. Well, guess what I have? If you watched my other video, you already know, because uh, I showed it there. 1950, but could it be? It most certainly is. 1950D. Yeah, buddy.
No one in its home. Check that out. Very nice, guys. Let's get a close-in look of uh, the upgrades and add-ons that we put in here. Look at that. Amazing. Thank you so much, Sin Hoarder. Hopefully you'll have some more here shortly. I appreciate it, guys. Hope you enjoy this one. As always, be safe and take care.